Hello, Pal One. You have chosen the green koi fish. Yes. So, hopefully, we can see a clear, lively, fresh week ahead for you. But let's take a look at your cards. Okay, which ones are calling to me? So, we're using the Rider Wade Smith Tarot deck as well as the Sacred Self Care Oracle deck. Yeah, okay, this two, I feel these two. And now, let's take a look at what the energies coming for you this week hold for you. Okay, Power One. All right, so your first card is the Nine of Wands. Sorry, that's not sharpening up. Okay, Nine of Wands. And the Star. Okay, I've got to cover this up first before I put the card down. But let's take a look. Oh, my flowers have moved a bit. Okay, here we go. The star and the nine of wands. So, it does certainly look like, Power One, you've had a tough time, a long time, a hard time working at something. Either you've been really um, putting a lot of effort, putting a lot of thought and idea and blood, sweat and tears into something uh, for some time now. And what is what we're seeing now is like, you know, you were almost at wit's end. You were almost like, oh my gosh, when is this going to end? I can't do it anymore. But you know what? You persevere. You persevere and this week, you will see that fulfillment of um, whatever it is that you wanted from this endeavor, you're going to see that completion of it. You're going to see the successful completion. What it is that you hoped for, what it is that you hope to achieve in that endeavor, that is coming true for you this week. So, or or that that um, energy is coming to you. You know, it may not happen from the week of the twenty eighth of August to the third of September. It may it may take a little bit of time after that. But what we see is that you are nearing that end of your journey all the um, uh, blood certain tears as I've mentioned that you've put into this endeavor into this initiative um, you are going to see that end of it already you are closing off that finishing off that activity and it's taken quite a lot out of you you see that bandage on the man's head here. It has taken a, a lot of out of you, um, whether in terms of commitment, in terms of strength, in terms of, um, you know, just that, that will, that will inside of you to make sure that you make this happen. But that beautiful end is inside for you, pal one. That's fantastic. And you have from the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck, music number 37 music and be still number four mm. so what does this tell me this tells me that this week um you can relax you can rest assured and enjoy what is happening this week. You don't have to worry. You don't have to be anxious. You don't have to be frustrated. But you know that that end is in sight. You know that your wish is going to come true. What you wanted to achieve, you are going to achieve it soon. So you can now just relax and enjoy the music. Enjoy um, the fruits of your labor as they come in to you. Um, it is divine timing. It is, you know, that you have done all that you needed to do for this effort and now is the time for you to reap the fruits of your labor and you can rest finally so it says be still here and kind of like the hanged man isn't it she's like in that opposite uh, upside down position um, so you can be still now um, you can relax you can know that you know the future the result the end game is in your hands and you can uh, take a rest now because it has been a, a long journey or a journey that was really taken like a lot of of you it has drained you a bit you know and um, now uh, this week 
it's it sees you being able to see light at the end of the tunnel it sees you being able to you know reach almost that that result is almost within your grasp and all you can have to do now is then just grab it you know and that could happen this week or that could uh, take some time to play out and it may take uh, one or two weeks after uh, the week of the 28th of August that's what I'm feeling um, but all in all the the fact is that you are being told that you have this time now to be able to see the completion the end and relax so i hope that this has been a good one for you pile one have a great week uh if you've liked this reading do give me a thumbs up i really appreciate it because it helps the video go around and if you have not yet subscribed do subscribe to the three lotus tarot we look forward to inviting you into the family and until i see you in the next one bye hello pal two you have chosen the orange koi fish let's see if you're going to get like a bright happy um what is that rich rich week ahead of you Ooh, i can't wait okay so now we're using the rider weight um tarot deck okay this one was okay well three cards came out for you fantastic remember if you've come across this reading at any other time that just means that this uh reading with its messages are what is meant for you at that point in time okay so let's see pal two what you have in store for the week of the 28th of august to the 3rd of september oh so we've had the three of swords firstly let's see oh okay i forgot you have three cards okay the three of swords you have the seven of cups and you have the ten of swords okay and then let me take a look at um um the message that is coming out here because firstly of course the three of swords is about heartbreak it's about something that is crushing you that is breaking your heart that is making you sad that is confusing you that's making you feel lost okay and the ten of swords you know you you really feel like i mentioned the word crushed crushed by this energy now who is bringing this energy to you or what is causing this energy to you we don't really know yet um it may be different things that are happening in your life or you may have um have different conflicting um emotions that are coming into your life right now that's making you like oh my gosh you know i i don't know what to do i am i'm just my heart is all over the place you know i don't know i don't even know what to feel perhaps okay so i do can you please pal too can you please give me a little bit more time so that i can get um some cards for you let's figure this out please um what is the seven of swords please what it was not seven of swords what is the seven of cups please what is the seven of cups please for pal two as they go into this week what is the seven of cups please as they go into this week what is the seven of cups okay what is the seven of cups mm. okay so there is something here that perhaps okay nine of cups nine of cups is about indulgence is about wow you know you're really happy you're really having that wonderful life and and sometimes it is all also about just you know because you have so much of the good stuff and um the the norm the norm that the masses uh, live in their life from day to day you're not so used to that anymore right so the nine of cups you you've really reached that that quite a pinnacle quite a great height in terms of satisfaction in terms of happiness in terms of contentment and sometimes it's seen as a cup a card of indulgence right so i do see with strength in the in the reverse and the five of wands that 
um, perhaps there is there is a little bit of overindulgence on your side you know you're not you're not being able to stand tall and say okay no you know that's it i'm not going to do too much of this i'm not going to maybe scroll uh, so much on social media i'm not going to eat so much i'm not going to drink so much whatever it may be but it is causing some discord in your life it's causing some um, maybe in terms of thoughts, in terms of philosophies or in terms of principles that you hold in your life, it's not really aligning. And um, that, that, that thing that you're doing a lot of, that you're not being strong enough to stop or to curb or to uh, make sure that you don't overdo it. You know, like on our phones, we have uh, that... that um, well, on Android phones, at least I'm not sure about the Apple phones, but on Android phones, we have that uh, wellness and uh, health and well-being of ourselves, like how many hours we can check uh, that we have used the phone this week. How many hours have we spent on YouTube? How many hours have we spent on uh, Chrome? How many hours have we spent on social media, right? So you could see that you're overdoing it. Okay, so there could be a few different things that you're overdoing. There could be um, a lot of very, a lot of different emotions that come that come into you, or a lot of things that are pulling you from a lot of different sides because you're you're overindulging in a sense, you know, or you're not sure now what. Um, the the normal people go through because you have had that luxury and that good fortune to to be able to have nine of cups and somehow something is breaking your heart perhaps you see on social media like i meant because i mentioned social media so perhaps you see on social media something that breaks your heart something like you found out something or somebody's not being true or somebody's not being honest or something like that so it is breaking your heart and it really takes a big toll on you because you feel as if there's the ten of swords in your in your week going ahead so there may be a surprising shocking news it may be a third party if you're in a relationship or it may just be that you know if you're not in a committed relationship yet maybe some uh, some the one that the the object of your affections is choosing somebody else instead of you or something something basically is breaking your heart okay um let me put this aside something is breaking your heart it really takes a big toll out of you let's see if you have some um, advice here oh look you've got the burning bowl ritual very very apt for when you want to get rid of energies like this you know you want to heal you want to move on you want to get better the burning bowl ritual is about getting rid of anything that's in the past that doesn't serve you anymore that may be toxic that may be unhealthy that may be sad that may bring up um unwelcome or unnecessary emotions in you or unnecessary stances in you so if you really feel that energy of the three of swords and the ten of swords which is you know that that Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm going to get up off the floor after this. Then yes, it is time to cleanse yourself and heal yourself. Take some quiet time. Reflect on what needs to be cut off from your life because it serves you no good anymore or it's toxic or it's just not right for you. Okay, so burning bowl ritual, get rid of that. And what's next? You also have make a vision board. Yes. So after you've gotten rid of all that toxicity and what is not needed anymore, then craft out that new vision for yourself. What is this? What is it that you want going forward? Put up the pictures, write it down. You know, you'll be surprised how many people say that, you know, I wrote it down, uh, journaling, or I made a vision board and then I saw myself in that life with those things, with those people living that life that I want and it just comes, the universe just brings it to me. So, pal 2, I hope that that helps you. 
if this uh, this kind of energy is coming to you in the week this will help you get out of it and 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 see the way forward okay so i hope that uh, this reading has been helpful for you the sneak peek and if you've liked it please give me a thumbs up it helps the video go around comment share subscribe to the three lotus tarot and i really look forward to welcoming you to the family have a great week guys and i'll see you in the next one bye hello everybody pile three you chose the white koi fish it's like a beautiful beautiful shimmering fish i wonder if this will denote that your week ahead is going to be full of beauty and gold and shimmeringness <laughs> and um maybe purity okay maybe it's just going to be a week full of pure joy and and happiness all right so now we use the rider with smith tarot deck and we are going to get a couple of cards too from the sacred self-care oracle for your monday sneak peek let's see what's in store for you pal three. Oh, you've got the eight of swords and the nine of pentacles what a what a combination what does this mean okay so you're feeling stuck you're feeling lost you don't know what to do you're feeling trapped you're feeling trapped in luxury are you feeling trapped in luxury that can't be i think perhaps uh, your cards are telling us pal three that whilst you are feeling like you're trapped like you don't have the resources or you don't have the people or you don't have the love or you don't have the friends or you don't have the situation that you wish that you did actually in actual truth you are very very um very very well rewarded already in your 3d life so whilst you know the the swords are always about truth and clarity right but you are you're bound up here and you have a bandage like a, a blindfold around you and you think that oh my gosh i can't see the way forward i I, my hands are tight i can't do anything i've got swords all around me i don't know where to walk i don't know where to go i don't know where it's safe to go i i, I don't I, I don't have anything i'm trapped i i can't do anything my hands are tied but you know what the swords are not encircling you not trapping you at all you have all the possibilities of walking away and the binds that are around you look very very loose anyways so you know you think you think you're stuck you think your your situation is one way but in actuality it is another way altogether so whilst you may think that i oh i'm not rich enough i'm not accomplished enough i'm not happy enough uh, i'm not good looking enough but in reality you are you have such a beautiful life that perhaps you just don't see. This is the nine of pentacles. The next step is the ten of pentacles, which is the ultimate, the, the absolute, right? So you're already, when you're in the nine of pentacles energy, this is about somebody who has reached a certain status in life. They've accomplished, they're, they're financially free, they have a beautiful, wonderful uh, life with everything that they want, with a lot of what they hope for you know creature comforts um beauty beautiful clothes accoutrements um physical assets everything that they ever wanted you know in the 3d life because the pentacles is about money it's about wealth abundance and um, material goods right so you may think that you don't have or you are a certain way but if you truly sat down and thought about it and reflected and take, took stock of what you have in your life, or if you asked um, other people's 
opinion of what they think that your life is like, you would find out that it has a very different view from your view. Mm. So this week, you may be called upon to really clear your mind, you know, get that, get that clarity, get that white, pure white clarity to really understand and see where you stand in your life, what you have and have gratitude. You may want to push on to the next level, but you should um, take stock of what you have accomplished, what you have in your life and have gratitude and be thankful and appreciate what it is that you have, who it is that you have in your life at the moment. Now, let's look at your sacred self-care oracle. It says connect with your womb. So this has given me one thought. So for some of you out there, Perhaps you want a child. Perhaps you want a child. And you know the Ten of Pentacles is about legacy, right? It's about generations and, and family is made up of many generations leaving a legacy and being one big happy family together. So perhaps you feel, if some of you, if you don't have a child, you want a child and you may feel that I, can't, I don't have one and therefore my life is not what I wished it would be. But if you look all around you, yes, you may not have a child, but your life is good. Your life is uh, the stuff of some dreams. All right. So yes, connect with your womb is one thing. Um, for some of you, you may want a child. Perhaps you can look at um, other ways. If, if you cannot conceive naturally, perhaps um, IVF or surrogacy is another way to go. Okay. Or, you know, you could adopt or you could take on like, you know, like a, a godmother figure for your friends, kids, for your nieces, for your nephews, you know, um, or go to like an orphanage or help out with the community centers and um, um, be like a big sister, you know, stuff like that. It could be uh, uh, helpful for you to think about other ways of how to help yourself feel better and if you felt that I've always should be a parent, whether a mother or father, if I've always, I should be a parent, uh, there are many ways that you can parent and help and guide and mentor, okay? All you have to do is be creative, connect with what is within you, connect with that deep gut instinctual feeling within you. And if you have excess love to share, if you have excess um, uh, resources to share, Please, I'm sure you'll be able to find a way. So that's number 15. Connect with your womb and take a walk. Take a walk. So um, this always for me reflects, um, oops, I'm sorry. This always for me reflects the need to... Hi guys, I'm sorry. Something happened with my um, um, phone and uh, the recording stopped. And I'm just wondering, it just came to me that perhaps, you know, you've, you've, you, you've put everything in place. You feel that like you've put everything in place, but things just came in and like, you know, um, um, caused your plans to go asunder. Like how I had, like, you know, I had number one, I had shook my phone and the recording was all and then after that I did something I don't even know what and it stopped the recording altogether. So it could just be that you felt that you tried and you did everything that you, you, you could think of and you planned but somehow it's just not happening. It could be that for you, uh, pal three. But you know, what I was talking about, taking a walk, it's very much about, you know, going back to the basics, going back to nature, let nature heal you. Spend some time alone. Spend some time grounding. Because when you are feeling so low, when you're feeling sad, when you're feeling lost, when you're feeling like I'm trying to do everything and things just kept getting in the way and I couldn't achieve what I wanted to achieve. When you feel all that, um, that resentment comes in and then you really do need to cleanse that out of your body. 
you need to cleanse it out of your womb help your womb be strong and healthy uh, perhaps exercise is a good way to help you as well diet wise physical activity wise even maybe um, looking at the stress that your job may bring to you or even just stressing about not having a child for some of you Okay, it could be stuff like that that keeps you all uh, trapped in and your body is not healthy enough and therefore it cannot um, you know, support another life, for example. Okay, But I don't want to get too deep into uh, the example or the, the scenario, not example, but the scenario that I got in my head that for some of you it is about having children. So, but whatever it is, when you're, because you're feeling this way, it is time to cleanse that out of your system and ground yourself. Get your root chakra strong. Okay, um, get your sacral chakra strong, get your heart, uh, what is it, solar plexus chakra strong. And there's a lot of green here as well, so perhaps also your heart chakra and purple for your crown chakra. So when you, when you ground and root yourself, when you cleanse yourself, let nature heal you, take some time out to be still and quiet meditate listen to the chirping of the birds listen to the breeze then you may come into a realization for yourself on how you need to live your life because your life now in the 3d world it looks pretty darn good but if you want to move on to the next level or if you want to learn how to appreciate and have more gratitude for what you have achieved in your life uh, you know, it looks so different, your own perspective versus what you actually do have. If you want to be able to see what you really do have, then perhaps it is time for you to cast away all the distractions of, of the 3D world, the distractions of the modern age, social media, uh, work, computers, uh, net. Netflix. Oh my gosh, I hope Netflix doesn't come after me. But you know what I mean, right? So it's about... Um, carving away stuff that may be unnecessary for the true health and well-being of your body of your mind of your heart and emotional status okay so part three i'm going to leave you with that message it's been a bit of a long one for your monday sneak peek but i hope that you like it please do give me a thumbs up if it's helped you and comment share subscribe to the three lotus tarot i Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.